housing fellowship with the help of students in the Iowa City Community School District will soon start building a new home for families with limited incomes in the historic Goose Town neighborhood. KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall joins us live and Libby, how was this neighborhood selected for the project? Beth, for nonprofit organizations like the Housing Fellowship, finding new locations in various neighborhoods isn't easy. But when the city was deciding what to do with the empty lot, they decided to help turn it into something that will better serve the community as a whole. One empty lot right in the middle of historic Goosetown neighborhood started as a problem for Iowa City. The city had a, a property that had a series of code violations and nuisance um, issues. So the house went on sale. It was a sheriff sale. The city bought it. The city turned around and we looked at what what projects or what, what do we do with this house. Eventually they sold it to the housing fellowship for their next project. They are now working with Iowa City Schools and the Home Builders Association to start construction. It's really important to us that we have houses in a number of different neighborhoods. Uh, giving families choices is very important to completing our mission. Not only will students get the chance to learn what it takes to build a house, but they will also be able to provide a home to a family with limited income in an area of the city that doesn't see many of those options. And if a family needs to move, if they can't afford their current rent or their household size grows or for whatever reason they need to move and they have children already in school, um, being able to keep those students in their current school is very important for that family and that, that child's education. The lot was paid for through grants from the city, but Andrew says there's still other supporters who have gone in on this project. We do have a $50,000 loan obligated from the Housing Trust Fund of Johnson County, which will be at 0% interest, which is um, very helpful to, to get this project done. And we also have a grant from uh, the First Interstate Bank uh, that is going to help fund the project as well. The home will adhere to historic standards and it'll be energy efficient. Once this project is done, they plan to build another house on that same property with another group of students. In studio, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News. Thanks, Libby.